What's up guys, I'm Lee and this is Hippie Noir. Today I am showing you how I do my vulva witch makeup. If you enjoy it, please subscribe and like the video. Next week I will be putting out a 20 holy grail beauty product, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And let's get into the video. I already did my foundation and my concealer, um, and my eyebrows. So I'm gonna start with beautifying the face, so to speak. I'm gonna go in with like my powder contour, my powder blush, highlight, um, because it was very much a part of the Viking society to be well kept. They cared about their appearance and vulvas are no different. Okay, so let's do some contour. Contour. A lot of these products are going to be in my upcoming video uh, next week that are my 20 holy grail products. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss what I think are the best of the best. I'm going to use this brush to contour. It's kind of a big one. More probably for bronzer. That's okay because I kind of want that effect a little bit. And I, like, I'm going to make my cheekbones high. And I couldn't find, like, an app, like, well, I don't know. Who knows if anything's accurate, you know? Um, I couldn't find a real, just, like, accurate description of how vulvas wore their makeup. So this is basically some, my, like, my interpretation as well as uh, a mixture of other people's interpretations that gave me some inspiration so yeah so first things first you want to look pretty that was a big thing they wanted to look attractive this side is like whoo got a lot on that side not that much on the side I am gonna take the powder brush that I used earlier and I'm just gonna blend All right, um, let's see, then let's go with the blush. I'm just taking my Melba blush from MAC. No big deal, it's just a coral blush. Honestly, if you're looking for how to do uh, Viking witch makeup, I would first start with a base that you like. So foundation you like that makes you look good, um, do your contour, do your blush that fits you, all of that jazz because they did care about their pants and what looks good on you is what looks good on you. So you don't need to change that. And isn't that nice because now you don't have to go buy anything new. And it's okay, I'm not worried. If it was any other thing, I'd be worried that I put on too much blush and contour, but this is gonna get like real dramatic, so it's gonna work, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take the Mary Luminizer blush. I mean, not blush, I'm gonna take Mary Luminizer highlight. I'm gonna do a little highlighting. All right, 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 Possibly this like blush kit, the Naked One, possibly the Vice, I think this is the Vice 3 palette, and possibly this little like um, balm, and the original Naked Basics palette. So I'm going to take my under eye powder, which I will be talking about in next week's video, so subscribe. I'm going to put... 
a bunch of under eye setting powder underneath my eye. This is so hopefully I won't get fallout and if I do it'll land on there and I'll be able to wipe it off. So that's the goal. Hopefully it works. I cleaned all of my makeup brushes. Um, like all of them, even the face ones, so I'm really excited. I was like, I gotta clean them before I do this video. So again, this is not historically accurate. This is my version. I'm gonna take like this type of brush. I don't know. And I'm going in with Foxy, a mixture of Foxy and WOS from the Naked Basics. So it's just like a very light neutral yellow and a light neutral pink. So I'm just gonna... I'm going to put that in the corner because I really just want that to be a lot lighter. I don't want my makeup to too much overdo it. I might have to do this step again later. I think I'm going to get it like really out there. So I'm going to take this like a little tiny angled brush and we're going to take Faint, put it on my brush. So that's just like a medium brown, I'd say. It does, you don't need to get dark. These are usually are gonna come out a lot darker than you, than they look in the pot. I'm just putting this all over and I am gonna focus on making like this shape. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Maybe I should zoom you guys in while I do. So see how I did that. So just all over the lid. I kind of like the curve I did. So I'm going to really, I'm going to try to recreate that. It's hard to do the exact same thing on the other eye. Those girls are people, not just girls, me bad. Um, the people that do just one eye and then take a picture of it, like close up, genius. Just put all your work into that one eye. Taking another flat like brush like this, and I'm gonna take oops, I'm gonna take the black. I don't think that's in focus, sorry. And I I'm gonna tap smooth it off. I'm just gonna go around the rim. I swear I am literally making this up as I go. blendy brush um but I'm not gonna put anything on it um I'm gonna take the uh, no. I'm gonna take a different brush, take another blendy brush, and I'm gonna go in lightly with the NYX contour shade, just a little bit, and I'm gonna do just a little bit of shadow right here, where I already have a little bit of a shadow for my brow. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more intense and noticeable.
This like is making me feel like an owl. Is that weird? I think I'm gonna put black underneath the eyes. Make it like real dark under there. I feel like I need, if I'm gonna do that, I think I need to wipe off my under eye. That excess powder. And I usually, what I usually say, again, if you've seen any of my other makeup videos, that you don't need to, like, you should put a lighter shade than you're thinking underneath your eyes because it's going to look darker. No, I want it dark. So let's do this. So I'm still taking that NYX. I'm basically only using the Naked Basics palette. I want to darken up the top a little bit. I'm going to go back in with more of faint. Okay, and then I'm going to take I need like a more tapered brushed blend. Take this little guy. I'm just dotting it in the black to then smudge it out. And then I'm gonna go with that same one and I'm gonna redo the black. I'm gonna go with a lot of black because I want I want it to be defined. I think I need to put eyeliner on. I am gonna curl my lashes again. I'm gonna take this like gold eyeliner. I don't really know why I did the gold, but I like it and I'm glad I did it. But I put on the eyeliner um, off camera because I couldn't get it with the, like on film. So this is what the eyes are looking like right now. Let's put on some mascara. Another favorite of mine, taking the uh, L'Oreal Vol Voluminous Wa uh, Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. I am going to write runes on my face. I'm going to do that last. We're going to put like a little scar down my eye because I like doing that. So for that, I'm taking this little pencil. It's by NYX. It's the Wonder Pencil. Concealer, eye brightener, reverse lip liner in one. So you can put it around your lips to clean it up. You can put it on eyeliner make your eyes brighter. Or you can make it look like you have a scar. And it's gonna, it's gonna be subtle. And then if that is not like, if it's not like enough for you, you want it a little more like in your face, you can do two things. And I'll do both of them for you so I can show you. So I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. 
Um, and I'm just gonna take a like angled brush. The thinnest one that you have is probably for the is the best. You can take an angled brush, just like a straight brush um, would work also. And then you're just and you're just gonna very lightly over it, just like I like to just tap to give it a little um, a little bit of highlight make it look a little raised and then this is especially good if you have like a gray so this is an old one this is Mac Omega which is a great um, contour if you need it it's very subtle so I'm just gonna dab And very, very, very lightly next to it, you can put a little shadow. Then obviously, if you need to go back in and touch it up a little bit, you can. But I like that. I like I like doing that a lot. I don't know. I just think it's like a badass thing. Um, and then you can always do like one on if you want to do like a scar on your lip, you can all that jazz. I'm going to take this is Russian Red by Mac, and I'm just gonna take it on a lip brush because I want this to be more of a stain. So I have a little. My lips are moist, and they have like ever so slightly some chapstick on it. This is looking a little too light, honestly. Like it just looks a little too... Looks just like a little too light. So... I won't take it off. So I just rubbed it. And then I'll put the excess on the top. And we're going to go back in with a different color. So I don't endorse this color. If I had a different one, I would use a different one. But I'm taking Glamour 101 by Lime Crime. I know that they're not a good company. I bought this a very long time ago. So please, if you have like a better... If you can use a different dark uh, red, do it. And I'm gonna go in with this. As this is not, this is a ColourPop in Prim. See, that's dark. La Cliplana, River Shop. And this is a black lip liner. NYX makes them. I've used uh, like eyeliner on my um, lips to do like a black lip and that, those like really dry out your lips. Like this is literally meant to be a lip liner. So I recommend it. And then I feel like I look like I should be in Black Swan. I'm just gonna clean up these lips. I'm making the X like illuminate illumination powder foundation. And this is, and I'm taking this, this is supposed to be like an eyelash brush. But I've always 
That's always how I clean up my uh, lipstick though. Okay, let's write a fucking rune on my head. I'm gonna do the rune specifically for mental clarity and balance because this is a cirrus vulva um, makeup tutorial. So um, clarity of mind and balance is very important to them. So that's the rune that I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna do it in black, but I'm gonna use that um, pencil. Just etch it out first, so I don't thug it up, you know? Should I do it in black or should I do it in gold? Maybe I'll do both. Let's start with gold and then it might be, then I might like go over it or like half do it. Okay. Obviously I'm gonna do all of the gold first. I was expecting to do this in black. This was a, I was not expecting to do any gold in this. Like I don't know where that came from, but I'm happy I did it. let that dry. I hope you guys can really see this gold because it's glorious. Be right back. Shit, I wasn't recording. I don't know if I recorded that, but I did the, the black. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know if it was recording when I was doing that. I don't know, it doesn't feel complete. It just seemed too perfect in an unrealistic way. One more room rune under my chin because it just feels like it needs something. I'm gonna do a little. Okay, I'm gonna do the one for wisdom. This rune is backwards. Killing it. Totally wasn't thinking about that. I'm looking in a mirror. Let me go wash my hands and I, I'm i gonna get one more thing to finish the look off. All right guys, this is the final look with the hair, the makeup, the faux fur jacket. I really do feel like a Viking witch, I'm not gonna lie. I feel badass as fuck. Let me know how what you guys think of this look. I said in the video, I did it off the cuff, no practice, making it up as I go along. So if it seems a little discombobulated, that's because I wung it. I'm not even high. I'm not even high. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I've got some future predicting to do. Bye.
Lights out.